Welcome back to Sunrise Daily. We're looking at uh, some aspects of security now. But uh, we're joined by uh, Mr. Fatai Owoshini, who is the Commissioner of Police in Lagos. He joins us via phone. Good morning and thank you for joining us today. Well, we do know that uh, some concern, and uh, I know that uh, police have also been on their toes, doing their best to ensure that things work properly. But take us through. We know that uh, some successes were recently recorded about... Uh, those who kidnapped some students in the school not too far away from uh, the outskirts of Lagos. Uh, at the moment, what can you tell us about how the police is functioning and how you want members of the society to also ensure that they do or we do what we have to do to help the police succeed a little further? Um, good morning, Chamberlain. Go ahead, please. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Um, yes, uh, the success recorded um, with regards to the kidnapping at the Turkish school, um, I think, um, yeah, it's a good one. Uh, it's more or less of what the commissioner in Ogun State um, would comment on. Um, but as per legal state, um, what we've been doing mostly is uh, preventive actions. Um, we've been working on information, intelligence reports, and we've been more proactive um, to see that um, we nip in the board um, some of uh, these cases. Uh, but where it happened at all, we've also um, rejigged our efforts uh, with a view to making sure that um, we work with um, families of um, those involved in order to um, facilitate the release of the victims. Um, just last night, um, as we've been saying that some of these things happened for some weird reasons, just last night um, on the road um, close to the old Lagos by the Express Road, um, a vehicle was sighted with a man um, tied with rope uh, as if um, um, it's an animal um, inside a bus. And of course, when the eagle high of the police patrol team um, saw that, the fellow was stopped. Um, and it was asked question only for him that um, he came from Abuja and this other fellow that was tied like a ram um, hold him uh, the sum of about 300,000 naira. And for no just reason, he came in from Abuja and uh, abducted this guy because I'm very sure the family of this guy um, is not aware, or was, not, was not aware of what happened. Um, abducted him and tied him with the rope and put him in the bus and driving that person to Abuja. Um, if we hadn't gotten people on the road, um, that are on the lookout. That is how that would have been taken out of legal state. Just um, a, a sum of 300,000 naira. Without his family knowing, and what see, what we hear is that someone else has been kidnapped. So, um, as I what we've been doing is um, to be proactive, to increase our visibility on the road, and we've been doing a lot of enlightenment with our people. Um, on the need for everyone to be self-conscious, um, to make sure that we they see anything, they quickly tell us. And this has been working for us uh, for some time. And um, areas that we know that are vulnerable uh, and prone to um, kidnappers um, attacking them, we've been redoubling our efforts to make sure that um, to the extent which we are covered, which the terrain permit, um, that we provide um, the kind of presence in order not to allow um, this criminal element um, a space of action. Okay, uh, Commissioner, j just give us a moment. Uh, we'll come back to you and continue this conversation. Don't go away. Okay. 
Welcome back. Let's get back to our conversation with the uh, Commissioner of Police in Lagos. Well, we're going to ask you, I mean, Lagos has just signed this anti-kidnapping law. How do you think this law is going to help you? Um, it's um, already a law. Um, has is to enforce. Um, and we think that as um, the excellence of the governor of Lagos State Police when he was signing that, we have the commissioner. Okay, I think great. we have him back on the line. Uh, apologies for that uh, break in your conversation. Could you go ahead and tell us how uh, you think this law will help? Um, as I was saying before, the, um, I lost that to technical hitches. Um, I have said that um, we're going to work with the law. Um, with access to enforce, we'll enforce the law to the letter. And uh, I believe that um, it should serve as deterrent to those criminal elements that uh, are engaged in that um, email crimes. Um, that is what the law is supposed um, to be for, to, to checkmate criminal elements and to serve as a deterrent. And I think it will go a long way in um, complementing the enforcement um, um, uh, efforts that the law enforcement institutions Mr. Commissioner, my question to you is, considering the uh, complex nature of Lagos State and the many businesses that you have, people moving on a very fast pace, especially when you get to the bus stations, the, the motor parks, for instance, and that is one area that you have kidnap cases beginning. You board a bus in, in Nigeria, it's called a, a one chance. You bought a bus and then you find yourself in another different place. Uh, how is the police strategizing to try to reduce or completely stop this? Um, it is, um, when it comes to that, um, of late, we've not uh, been recording such incidents um, in Lagos. Um, in, uh, last year we had a um, few cases that are reported. Uh, but when it comes to the issue of one chance, it is not just about the police, it is about all of us. Um, so many times we've come up with um, advisory. One, um, on the need for people to board um, commercial buses at designated motor parks. When you look at Lagos State, um, almost everywhere on the streets of Lagos, especially along the Corridor Road, you'll see passengers standing there. Um, looking for uh, what they call in Yoruba language solid, but those are the fast pick um, they look for them. And we've been telling people, if you go to designated motor parks, you can easily get family members to know that, oh, I'm at Toyota Park. This is where I bought a, a vehicle to a or whatever. And 